Good morning. Welcome to this、uh, web lecture on Chapter Twenty. Chapter Twenty is to introduce Java Collections framework for lists, stacks, queues, and priority queues. I'm going to give you a brief guide, and so you can follow the material in the book. And to study on your own. In the、uh, introduction, and please、uh, read and to understand、uh, the definition for、uh, data structure, and to、uh, understand the definition of、uh, a container, a container object. In the、uh, Next section, twenty point two on collections, and understand、uh, and what is a collection and、uh, what are the common collections、um, in the Java、uh, collections framework, and the、uh, design guide and for the、uh, collection framework. And this figure、uh, illustrates uh, the uh, uh, key. Uh, Interfaces and classes in the、uh, Java Collections framework.、Um, so these are the uh, interfaces, uh, concrete classes, and the uh, uh, convenient uh, abstract classes in the middle. <coughs> Now this is a, a key figure to illustrate the common abrasions. In the、uh, collection interface, as you see, and here, these are the um,、uh, methods add, and add all,、uh, clear,、uh, contains, and contains all. So please、um, go through、uh, all the、uh, methods listed in this、uh, interface. And the interface is.、Um, A subtype of the、uh, iterable interface. The iterable interface provides the、uh, iterator method that returns an iterator, and which、um, can be used to、uh, traverse、um, all the elements、uh, in the collection. And also has a method for each、uh, and for uh, processing uh, each element uh, in the、uh, Iterable object. And this is the uh, uh, listing uh, example、um, to show、um, some basic operations、uh, in the collection framework. And the,、uh, a red list is a collection. So this line and creates、um, an array list. And so now you can see here, and this collection one、um, at uh, uh, string and into、uh, the array list, and so the methods、um, contains and remove, and so these are used here, and and here's add all and retain all and remove all, and you can try out and modify the code and. And compile and run it, and from here. So please note that uh, the uh, all the、uh, concrete classes in the Java Collections framework implement the、uh, clonable interface,、uh, the serializable interface. So it is very convenient, and you can clone a collection. And you can、um, serialize it, and so you send to a, a file, and so because they're serializable using object uh, uh, input output stream. So after starting the section, and go to、uh, look at the, the uh, uh, checkpoint, and study uh, the uh, self test. And these are the、uh, and word matching. So look at、uh, so what is the 
this method at oh, this is right here add is to uh, uh, to add a new element e to this collection the next section is on um, iterators and the iterator is um, an interface um, you can create a, uh, an object um, from any uh, collection and using iterator method that returns um, an object of iterator. Uh, the iterator allows you to traverse all the elements in the collection. So here is an um, example and we have this array list and these are the elements added to the array list and here is the uh, iterator obtained from uh, this array list and you can use um, a while loop to traverse all the uh, elements in the uh, iterator you can change this array list to, to uh, like link list or set and the code will work just fine and because and all this um, uh, concrete data structures um, in the uh, Java API have this uh, iterate uh, method um, they are iterable so they have this uh, iterator uh, built in you can use it to traverse all the elements now the iterator this is explicitly used using this while loop and here's iterate uh, um, dot has next and we can use a for each loop to simplify it so here's the syntax is uh, for each loop and for each uh, string in the collection and we're going to uh, and get the uppercase of the string um, so this using this loop you don't um, have to use the iterator explicitly all right, after study this uh, section and look at uh, a checkpoint and see here's the question and how do you uh, obtain an iterator from a collection object? And so this is the answer. And also please uh, look at the um, uh, self test questions. Um, all right, the next section introduces uh, the uh, for each method. And for each method is new in Java 8. And the method allows you to um, process and each element in the collection, and it, which is actually very similar to for each loop, but uh, sometimes it is uh, simpler. So look at this example, and you have a um, array list. Uh, those are the elements in the array list. You write a for each method and using here this uh, the uh, collection dot for each and to uh, process each element in the uh, collection. Now this uh, as you see here is a lambda expression. <clears throat> so the for each loop is actually coming from um, a um, this is the um, the argument here and for the for each loop is the uh, coming from um, um, a um, interface that's called uh, a consumer it's a functional uh, interface and that's here's the method except but because this is the uh, uh, single method um, abstract interface and so we can simplify it and using um, lambda expression and look here there's another way to write it is as to use the uh, for each loop <coughs> and please look at the uh, this checkpoint and after uh, finishing this section so now let's move to um, lists and see the common methods in the list interface are defined right here. So list is a subtype of collection 
uh, in addition to all the uh, operations defined in the uh, collection interface, you can also use the uh, methods and here additional methods and for the list, very specific for the list, the list um, has the notion of index. So now you can add an element into a specified uh, uh, index. Um, so this is the uh, all this and additional methods in the uh, list interface. Note that the uh, list interface has the uh, list iterator, which returns a list iterator. List iterator is bidirectional, so you can traverse a list, <clears throat> the elements uh, forward or backward. Now, please uh, pay attention to uh, this section to look at uh, the uh, differences between ArrayList and LinkList. From this section, and look at the example, and you will understand and why we need to have uh, this two lists, array list and link list. And because the, the difference is in performance. Uh, the array list is, is good and for um, adding elements um, and to the end of the uh, list and for retrieving uh, elements from a list. A link list is good for um, adding and deleting elements and from the uh, both ends of a list. <laughs> now if you use um, a link list and it's very inefficient and to uh, retrieve the element and using uh, the index using a list that get i and Rather, you should use um, a for each loop uh, using iterator and for each loop or using and for each method. So, please do a self check uh, using checkpoint and using uh, the self test multiple choice questions. So, now let's look at uh, the comparator interface. So we have already used the comparable interface for comparing elements. Um, two objects can be compared and we normally um, and have their classes implement the comparator interface and the compar comparable interface has the uh, compare to method and for comparing uh, two elements. There's another way, and it's actually a more general way um, for comparing elements, is to use the comparator interface. The comparator interface can be used and for um, any uh, objects as long as you define and how to compare them and using a, a comparable, comparator interface. So for example, Thus, um, the geometric objects um, uh, defined in chapter 13 uh, cannot be compared because they, uh, they do not implement the um, comparable interface. And, but we can define a comparator. And here is a geometric object comparator. It uh, implements uh, the comparator interface. And now we define and how to compare. And here is the compare method. And this is to compare the elements and using their area. 
So now you can write the code and using the geometric object uh, uh, comparator. So this is new geometric object comparator and we create a comparator. And here is the max method. So in the max method and here we have the uh, uh, the comparator C and C dot compare G1 and G2. So if this is uh, greater than zero and uh, means um, G1 is greater than G2 and return uh, G1 and else and return G2. So using a comparator and by defining a comparator interface and we are able to compare uh, geometric objects. The comparator interface is a functional interface um, we can use lambda expression to simplify it. So here is the um, uh, lambda expression and to simplify it you don't have to define uh, this um, um, geometric object comparator uh, class here and you can simply um, using and this syntax and here is the um, um, lambda expression and so there's two elements and and you're going to compare those two so here is this max g1 and g2 so this one this argument here is a comparator so how this comparator is implemented it is using this uh, lambda expression and o1 and o2 so o1 dot uh, get area is greater than o2 dot get area and that is one and now else if they're equal that's zero otherwise is negative one All right, so let's uh, look at a couple more examples and using uh, comparator and using a lambda expression. So we know strings um, can be compared uh, in the Java API and the strings are compared um, um, in the natural order. And suppose you want to uh, um, compare strings by their length. Um, there are a couple ways you can do it and one is um, you can define a comparator is my comparator implements um, java.util that uh, comparator and now uh, overwrite the uh, compare method and for this two strings s1 s2 and return s1 dot length um, subtract s2 dot length now you can simply rewrite it and using this uh, lambda expression so here, and we're going to uh, look, we're going to sort this uh, city and using a new comparator, right? And we're going to um, um, replace this new comparator and using a lambda expression. And here is uh, uh, sort uh, cities. And uh, this is the lambda expression S1, S2. And return S1 dot length and subtract S2 dot length. Now here's another example uh, using lambda expression and to sort uh, the uh, sort city and so here is the uh, city is, is a list and the list uh, has this uh, sort method and, and you can specify a comparator and here the comparator is specified using lambda expression and s1, uh, s2 and how do you compare this? s1 dot compare to ignore case so this is how those two are compared. All right, um, it can actually further simplify and using um, the um, method reference. And this is the syntax, cities.sort, and here's string, and with this um, uh, double colon, and this is called the method reference. 
So the compiler will automatically recognize. So what you're trying to do here is to use this compare to ignore case to compare uh, two strings. And which is much simpler uh, writing this in, in lambda expression and here. So you can simply use in this uh, method to reference. In the uh, uh, new uh, Java 8, you can also use this uh, uh, comparing method in the uh, comparator uh, to uh, create uh, comparators. So this is a static method in the, uh, in the comparator uh, interface. In the uh, Java 8, the uh, interface can have uh, static methods. So comparing is a static method in the uh, comparator interface. So you can use this syntax here, comparing and using this, what is this? Um, it's the method to reference here, you are comparing strings. You compare it in the length of the string. All right. Another example here is this um, this one here is um, you have a list of uh, loans um, so you're going to compare loan and using what method get loan amount so this is the uh, method used now you can specify um, primary criteria for comparing and also the uh, second uh, or third uh, on um, the comparator using and then comparing. So here's the uh, example. Um, you compare the loan and first you uh, the, uh, the primary criteria is get the loan amount is on the loan amount and then it's on the uh, annual interest rate to compare uh, two loans. All right, so please um, go to the uh, checkpoint and after you finish uh, this uh, section, and so there's a, a number of good um, uh, checkpoint questions in this section. And also uh, uh, check out the uh, multiple choice questions. This concludes the uh, first part of chapter 20. We'll continue chapter 20 in another video.